All right, Astro T11, washing. Um, it's very similar to the Arizona method. However, there are some differences, and the differences are for Ashto, you're gonna obtain and reduce your sample size in accordance with R76. Then your sample size is gonna be according to the table in the procedure of Ashto T11. Now that you have your sample size according to the table in Ashto T11, you're gonna take your sample and you're gonna dry it to constant mass in an oven at 230 plus or minus nine. After it's dry to constant mass, you are then going to weigh it to the nearest tenth of a percent of your starting mass. So now that it's been dried and you have it weighed to the nearest tenth of your starting mass, you have your equipment. Similar to Arizona 201, your bottom sieve is going to be the 200 and your top sieve. Your top sieve for Astro T11 can be any sieve from the number 8 up to the number 16 and in between. All right, there are two methods. You have method A, which is only water, and you have method B, which a wetting agent is used. Method A is used unless it is specified to use method B. You fill this up with water, you agitate it, get the fine some suspension, you keep doing that, washing over and over until the water runs clean. When the water runs clean, you will then again wash all your sieves back into your pan Allow this to settle. On your final decantation, the water is decanted over the 200 sieve. So that's, in Arizona, it doesn't specify to decant over a sieve or in the sink, but for Astro T11, you have to decant over the 200 sieve. Once you decant over your 200 sieve, you have to rinse this back into your sample And then this is dried back at a, in an oven at a temperature of 230 plus or minus nine. And this is dried back to constant mass. Allow the cool way to the nearest tenth of a percent of your starting mass. Once you have your final, you're gonna calculate your percent passing the 200s. And that is reported to the nearest tenth of a percent However, if it's 10% or greater, it's reported to the nearest whole number. Please be sure to read all of the materials available in your Soils and Aggregate Technician Certification Workbook.